Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining what feeds are and how to use them in your Zoho CRM system. Once we log into our Zoho CRM system, of course we'll come to the home screen. From here you want to go to the feeds module. Now let me explain what the feeds module is. It's essentially a collaborative platform inside of Zoho CRM that is, that is accessible to all users and allows users to chat about uh, records and data inside the Zoho CRM system and changes to that pe those pieces of data. Um, so you can post into the feed um, and you can attach documents into that post just to have conversations about what's going on. Um, and obviously any changes that are made to specific records also come up in the feed and you can have, write comments about that and again have conversations about that. So it's a really good means of um, of keeping in, in touch with all the data changes and everything that's going on inside the Zoho CRM system. Think of it as kind of like a, a Slack channel or um, a Teams group. Now on the left here we have a few other tabs. We have the followed by me and dormant records. So followed by me are all the records that you are following. Now we can set, um, set uh, auto follow rules uh, that mean that if records match certain criteria, then you'll automatically start following them. Of course, you can also all, uh, manually just start following records of interest um, and any uh, records that you own yourself, you'll also be following. So you can see here, we can distill the information down to uh, all, all modules, or we could just see the records from the leads that we're following, etc. So we can run through that. On the left, we also have dormant records. So these are records that have not been updated for more than 15 days. Uh, as you can see on the right, we can change the parameter. Uh, we can increase that to 30 or however much you like. Um, and we're also able to change the module to distill the data down. Now I mentioned earlier about the auto follow rules. We can create these rules. <clears throat> and essentially what you've got to do is you've got to select the module. So um, the records that uh, sit under that particular module. So if we do contacts, for example, and then you just want to specify criteria. So if we say that the account name is CRM, CRM crew. So what we're telling the system is essentially any contact with the account name that is equal to CRM crew, I want to automatically follow. And then uh, as you can see here, you're an auto follower of your own records. Uh, we already know that. And then who should follow the contacts we can set this rule for specific users inside the Zoho CRM system uh, and we can tick these as we so wish role of record owner superior record creator and others and then you can break it down to groups roles roles and subordinates and users so that's a really useful tool for ensuring everyone is kept up to date with the information so we'll create this new rule and that just sits there if we need to get rid of it we can always delete it um, and then we can see any uh, rules that have been shared with me as well on the left <clears throat> now we can also set the feed preferences. Now feed preferences um, are essentially uh, a means of t getting information into the feed about only certain modules. So at the moment we've got contacts and accounts. So anytime a contact record or account record is changed, there'll be a feed update that'll be sent into our feed uh, to let us know that a change has been made. Um, of course we can change this as we so wish. So if we wanted to remove accounts but add deals, we can do. And then finally, we've got to send notifications when records are created, updated or deleted through APIs. Uh, this is APIs functions and data synchronization. So this is essentially allowing us to get feed information if any automated changes are made and you can set that up as you so wish. So we'll leave that as it is. And if we go back to feeds, this is an example. Nick Bourbon updated a contact record brand earlier today. Um, and that's all that feeds are, it's just a collaborative place uh, to keep up with all the uh, information and data changes inside your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained what feeds are and how to use them in your Zoho CRM system. Uh, if you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.